Morning folks, Wednesday morning. Welcome new subscribers. Thank you for your comments and likes. Hopefully today I've got no running around and no awkward bolts to deal with on trucks, which make a change. So I can be in here with the door shut, pretend I'm not here. We might have a plan for today. Hopefully apprentice is in, hopefully. Try and get this uh, tombstone that back together on this, but we've got some more work to do on it now because the customer wants injector pump and injectors taken out for service. So easier to do it now while the bonnet's off. So that's the plan for today, but it can all go wrong as usual. So uh, yeah, mornings are drawing in now, getting a bit dark. So certainly half past four, 20 to five, it's dark. So uh, yeah, autumn is on its way. So let's crack on and have a cup of tea and get on with it. Anyway, we had a box arrive back. Defective part apparently. So we'll open it up and have a look. Tell me how that doesn't fit. All right, A, and that's the one you sent back. It is a nice tight fit, admittedly, but that is the one you sent back because there's the bearing in there that you put in, and that's on there. Give it a little, gentle little tug, but it is oh, on there. Obviously, you don't go that way because it goes that way on there he is got three six five off it's a place a new cut on ends for him so he's brought me tool back to uh, the ball joint splitter yeah. needless to say regarding that a little bit annoyed because i didn't send something out it didn't fit put a little picture in i think it'd been hit damaged on the end of the shaft a little tiny burr that's why it wouldn't go on but it's on there now and it fits in nice snug fit. So, there you go. Yeah, moving on. Right, we're getting uh, getting ready on the 575 here. We've got the uh, the front tombstone there on the crane, ready to get lifted back up and bolted into place. And we can get the front axles put in and the wheels back on it. There we can go up, up she's on the crane, get the right way. Just like that, it's in place. There we can get it all bolted back together. Find the tub with the nuts and bolts in. It's easy when you've got the equipment to do it. Anyway, I think somebody's arrived. Who's turned up? Oh, hello. Oh, what have you got there? So that's something to be repaired. Yeah. You've come to the right place. <laughs> Welcome back. You're right. Yeah. You uh, at least not a broken steering wheel. That looks like a broken exhaust. It is. You're right. You've got a busy day. <laughs> yeah, so I've just got that bit in. But you've got more to do. I'll fill you in in a minute over a coffee. I've come back today for a bit of a break, a bit of a breather. I think it's uh, well needed this week. And my toolbox is open. I'm gonna have to lock it this week, hide the keys. Oh, look what I found. Uh, I needed the right tool for the right job. Got most of the tools here, 
At least we've got a welder to repair exhaust pipes, unlike some big workshops haven't got well, the right tools. Yeah, that's very true. Um, anyway, you, you've got a big job to do this morning. I have. You have. You've got injectors and pump to get off of this thing. I'm looking forward to it. You are. Well, best you crack on. Yeah, I will do. Because you're only a short day today, because you've got another um, appointment with the, the best boy, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. Right. So, yeah, look look lively with um, that bit round there. Yeah, I will. You get that pulled out. Yeah. I'll just finish bolting this back together. All right. Once I've worked out which bolt is which. <laughs> in all these tons of bits. Well, you should have taken photos. Right, so that's bolted back on. We've got the bottom uh, bit on there for the steering. Somebody's up there moaning because the load of brackets in the way because she's a bit stuck it's, out. It's sort of the wrong height for me, isn't it? Yeah, well, you've got something in the... Two things in the way to reach. Yeah, you told me to go in there, but they'd be blocking the injectors then. Well, have you got them out yet? Almost. Almost. Okay. Right, I'm going to get the uh, stub axles put back in. No, I'm busy doing this here. Somebody's got problems. You don't know which drawers to look in because it's so big. The, the drawers are so big, you haven't got a clue where you put anything. No, and I've, I haven't been here for a while. I'm well, we know that. Up, aren't I? Oh, dear. Anyway, we're getting these put back in. Just found me a tub of copper slip stuff, so we'll get the bolts put back in this bit. Are you getting on with the injectors over there? I'm just getting them out now. You are? Yes, thank you. Crack on. Should I have it done by now? That's the other side. So you clean the threads up on it. Bolt it in. You still... Oh, the injectors are out. Oh, Christ. I'll just disappear over here out of the way. Oh, oh dear. Yes, that's um, not a face to mess with. Right, we'll get the ball joints put back on here. Then we can get the wheels on. Guess what's broke again? And it's a different brake this time. It's somewhere else. Can't be. Fresh brake. Nothing to do with me. Drivers. Even got the telltale marks here of rubbing it on the ground, going backwards and filling the hole up with stone. Nothing to do with me from last time. That's a totally fresh brake. See what I bodged up before, that's still there. No different now. Before I um, get stuck into that hay bob thing, I'll finish what I was doing. The threads on this were to the best, so we've tapped that one out, 5 8 UNF. And we've got the, uh, the die on there, and cleaned up the start of it. So that should now go on reasonably well and tighten up. Look at that, that's a lot better. Because it was a bit too tight, the spin in the taper in the cast. Are we getting on there? Are we still flooding away? I'm getting there. It's almost all off. Yeah, you've got dirt all over your face already. What are you doing? Picking your nose? The farmer up and running now. We'll repair stuff for Mr. JCB because they haven't got a welder apparently. So, Prince is over there. Got the injector pump off, I think. So, keeping her quiet. There we go. Injectors are out. Right, let's Watery stuff in. So we were quite caked up. Um, as you can see, that one is very rusted up. A bit of a mess. This one was really stuck in there, but it was proper rusty and caked up inside. Not very good for you, I know. They don't look that bad now they're out. A little bit of a white ground. They were proper rusted in there. Pumps off as well. Needs a bit of a clean. That was a pain to get off, but it's off. All the pipes are off. See if we can glue this thing back together for him. Like I said earlier, bad job when uh, main dealers don't have all the kit. 
you got to come to us for mere minions to get things fixed. Oh, I so love welding tissue paper steel. This one there. Hopefully I'll do the job for him. There, apprentice. A big long thing for you. Thank do you. Wanna, do you want to get a grip on that and make sure it's okay? No, I'm not worried. No. no. Good job we can fix stuff here, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I think the newness of this belt has definitely worn off. So. Uh, not a lot left of it. So we have a new one there. I think it's 1375 by 13, I think, the size. And we'll slip that into the groove. Tighten it up. Well, we're back on the wheels, and that's that certainly doesn't move anywhere from like it used to. They're looking a bit tidier. We've greased up the shaft in there. Got the grease coming out of that. And greased up this one here. Obviously waiting for the ram to be repaired. New fan belt on. So yeah, we can get that one out from underneath there now. Back on its wheels properly. Serious concentration going on here. Trying to remember how to put it back together, are you? Trying to remember which bolts go where, okay? Well, only the right bolt will fit in the right hole. If it's too big, it ain't gonna fit in there. If it's too small, it's just gonna flop around like a, it ain't gonna fit, is it? No, I know that. Just make sure I put it back together properly. Oh, well done. Morning, folks. It's Thursday morning. Just down here sorting parts out to get shipped out. Well, hopefully get them shipped out. Uh, hope you're all well. It's dry again. Let's go on with this. See what right, we've got. got one box here going to the uh, Flying Fergie Man. Got a new air filter housing and some of the checker plate rubber matting. We've got an oil pump there ready to go to another chap in Ireland and that box there we got some uh, dry shaft bushes for 1200 and some bolts a bit like those there so we got that we're just waiting for one more decal to turn up to go with this lot uh, ready to go to Ireland so that's what we're sorting right. at the moment that's a load of stuff boxed up sorted out some of it invoiced some packs ready to go days change tire man's coming out now this morning so I gotta get these off and out the door they're going to be heavy, but I've got the crane to help move them because they're going to be stripped down because the customer wants them painted. So let's clear the decks here and make some space to get these off. Right, so we'll jack this side up. Got a nice good axle stand under there. And it's uh, it's not sat on the ground. Wheel nuts bar two are loose. And we've got the crane on here. Just take the weight so we can get this off. See about getting it out there, ready. I'll get the forklift moved up so it's easier to swap it under that. Right, all the way on that's now loose. We got the weight on the crane. So we're all jacked up and supported. One more wheel nut to go. After that one, I'll put those in the top of the way so we don't lose them. loose. Move that out of the way so I don't break it.
That's the other side uh, swinging free and easy now. So that's uh, wheels on. Well, wheels on, wheels off. Yeah, I did say that. Look at that. Look at that. That's, that's, that's a bit, a bit wet. Yeah, yeah you don't have to shower there, John. Sorry, mate. I'm getting the tape. You weren't, you weren't wrong there. No, I weren't. That's what happened to the bloke when he went yeah. over the barn, mate. Say, honestly. Say hello to your boy, because he'll be on there. Hello, tonight. Riley. Hey. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. That's mental, isn't it? Yeah. They didn't feel that heavy when I was wheeling it off as well. It's scary, water. mate, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's still going. They've had it before, like. <laughs> Even I can't get that high. No, yeah. <laughs> That'll go Here for we go for take two. <laughs> Stand clear, John. Are you ready? <laughs> One of them tight ones down, you've got to use the pliers the whole way out. That one's just about finished draining out. <laughs> oh, you should make that wet, Dave. <laughs> no, I ain't. Don't intend to. Oh, we're ready. It's, get, it's ready. It's getting, it's getting close. <laughs> oh! That oh, nearly got me. <laughs> What's the van? <laughs> so we're having a fiddle with the exhaust pipe here we've got that elbow cut but we need some flexi in it so i'm going to cut this off here somewhere hopefully and have a bit of flexi going down to there because i can't think of any other way because obviously that's rigid fix there it's not like the original one where the had a flange underneath so we have got a length of uh, Flexi turned up with some clamps, so I think it's going to be a case of that I'll have to do. They're progressing with the wheels out there. They've got, uh, got one centre out. Well, after the head scratching and going, I think we finally come up with a suitable solution for exhaust pipe on this here, 1250, to go from that down to that. It works. I couldn't get a bend, steel bend, so we've used some flexi, and the exhaust is still upright. And it's up right there, right going on the radiator. So, pleased with that. That's another little job done on this bit. And we've got the two wheel rooms in here now, so might try and start tackling those and stripping them down, ready for uh, shot blasting. Well, that was a pleasant surprise. All these have come undone without any grief or spinning on the backs. <sighs> Obviously, we've got that one to go yet, but all the nuts are coming off nice and sensibly. Look at that, brilliant job. Tap those out, that's one apart. Well, it's looking a bit different from the other day with no back wheels when it had no front wheels. So, yeah, that's both the uh, rims and center split down. Still waiting for stuff for that. We've had a successful bit on that, they're done. Ready for blasting. I need to go and uh, pick up some bits and pieces now, so I'm going to let that do for today. So it's been quite a constructive day. So on that note, folks, as I said, that'll do for today. A few bits and pieces to go and collect, etc. Uh, hope you enjoyed that one. Bit of a giggle yesterday, taking the pee as usual. And um, yeah, see what the next day tomorrow brings. We'll probably be a truck in the morning and then probably shot by those wheels and centers make a start on those see what happens but it could all go wrong as usual nothing ever goes to plan here so uh, thank you very much for watching give us the old thumbs up like and subscribe drop us a comment tell us what you think criticisms comments we'll get back to you so uh, on that note look out yourselves catch you tomorrow laters bye